Hey buddies, today I'll be, I'll be drawing this page and then inking it. Um, and I thought it was a good moment as I have to draw some of the clothes folds on the main character that is running through the city. Uh, maybe I could give you some tips on at least how I try to draw the cloth folds. So first of all, I try to, to see where are the, the tension points on the on the closet, for example, here. Give me a moment. All right. First of all, I try to identify the tension points, which mostly are the points where gravity is holding on your cloth. For example, shoulder here. Uh, here, you have a tension point. You can have also a tension point here. You can have one here. Then second, you have to identify well, you will have also here on the knees, etc. Right? Then you have to identify the, the way the the places where the major folds will be. Will be mostly the places where the articulations will be happening, like here and here. Also, the places like here, you have some articulation here and here, and where the, the cloth must be like uh, more tight around the hips, for example, and where the cloth will be ending and be more loose, for example, around the waist or the hands. And once you have more or less analyzed that, you can start throw in some, some lines from those tension points. It doesn't matter. Here's another one that you, you can just throw a lot of lines, single lines like that. And then you can start doing the, the, the folds by choosing and creating some volumes on those lines, and then you can erase, etc., and erase some of those lines. Let me see if I can show you, for example, let's zoom a little bit more. Camera, you can see, I think you can see there. Okay, oh, I have more. okay, for example, here. So, and I start working from the back up to the, the top on the, on the edges because you don't want to have the edges just flat. You want the edges to have some volume. So it's like indentations, you see? You work here from this tension point to this end, you know? Things ends begins on a tension point and then goes up down due to gravity. Yeah, and following the the shape of the, the body. For example, here you will have some pecs, and uh, for example, here you have some tension points. So I, I don't mind. I can draw those lines that way, and then I pick up the one that I that I like to use the most. And uh, You'll be working in just kind of uh, 
adding up the lines and then creating inside the lines another one, which will be like the shadow. So that way you you can do the that type of effect. And you know that, for example, the body has some some places where it is more empty. You can work with larger in this case beauty is like pointing forward because he's running with this elbow this uh, shoulder so there is more tension coming from this place this one is more loose so you will doing the 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 false most in this way not so much in that way but then you can cross them because false just cross and, and and mess up together. I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit here. I'm um, exaggerating a little bit for the purpose of the video. Then I, when I will ink it in a few moments, I will just left some of those ones. I don't know if I'm going to left every single one because it will be just too much. This type of uh, cloth is not so, it doesn't have that amount of Here you can go in one direction and in the other, and then you start getting the those type of faults. Imagine that each one of those little points is like a mini tension point where you are just like an indentation. Oh. So, now that I have a kind of exaggerated this, this one, we put some ink on it so you can see. Uh, and in a simple way of doing this process. Let's see if the 
had to be better there coming back. All right, we we'll use the Ackerman pen for this. I just dip the Ackerman pen a little bit on water so it begins to flow. And then test. Test is here. Okay, great. Working. So. Now we'll start doing the just inking the main ones that I like. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ackerman. <laughs> this is classic. Don't worry. I will come. Tracing paper, I can erase or drink ink with no problem. Sometimes the Ackerman pen just gets filled with a lot of ink, and this shit happens. Later, that's had too much. No, okay, it's not in my fault. Okay, no way. I will work mostly, you see, on this one that come in one direction and bounce back. You have one that's go this way and then bounce back, creating the fold. Hi there. This is the same. You have you have some uh, of the tension point go from. place up to the elbow right and okay here I have finger Uh, 
These are like mini tension points. So you are like indentation of the cloth. That will I do some irregularities here and then give it some depth to the edge. There we are. Then you have to start like like sculpting, doing sculpture, trying to see the thing in 3D, following the, the you can draw the like if has some pixels. Oh, thank you, Ali. So you can be like picky, just picking up the the force you want to use. And then you start having like a kind of a Then you, and in a few seconds, I will apply some shades to the some of those folds that we just made. Some of this one will be in black. So now we have made some of those folds. Now we will erase with the
and see what we have left once we have already inked it. Oh, <laughs> worry. Okay. There we are. Don't worry, some of this you can work with them with the, by scrapping the paper. You can correct whatever I wish. And then we'll see the technique of scrapping also on the, on the fold to create a, another effect that is white on black. We need to let this ink dry a little bit. Okay. So. Now with the uh, HP, we start doing some shadows over the the fabric, the cloth. We try to yeah. that. For example, here, if I want to do some effect, I can do it. By scrapping, you see, and then you get the this kind of. Uh, you can see that. I'm zooming a little bit more. Camera is kind of deforming the, the drawing because of the, the angle. But uh, we show, I can show you what I want to show you, which is once you put black, then you can scrap and start doing this. Connected the the white the white uh, lines together. But well, now when we put the shadows, imagine that the light is coming like this way. Okay, come on. There, light is coming this way. So I have already prepared to put some of the shadows here. And uh, you must start thinking in 3D for doing this. For example, if this line that is here is above this one that is here, then you have some shadow here, you see. And uh, this one will cast some shadow here and here. So you start doing your, your shadowing. Uh, uh, that shadows will start creating on the folds another layer that will be a, a fold itself so also at the edges we have some of that
Okay. Here, for example, I have a larger one, or if you don't like it, you can erase it. So I'm gonna one. It's kind of fixing a problem. It's like a puzzle. And you will be little by little, little solving it up until the shape makes sense. And to the other. So try not to put just like two shadows together. Like if you made some black here, have like a black, white, mostly shadow work. Imagine that the light is like something that comes around, like it's just dark in the object just bounces back. It just bounces and gone, comes around with different different tones and, and, and grade of shade. Although in comics you are not you are working just in black why you don't need to put a lot of uh, just trying to give some volume idea if i put black here then i will be able to work with the tiny lines by scrapping to create the effect of the, the lights going around so shadow here here there All right This one was fixed by casting the shadow of this fold over the other one. And then it's together here. Let's see this one. This one maybe have a shadow over here. Yes. And this one will just go there and disappear. Okay, there we are. So that way we made some faults. This is the first stage. Now we're going to use this thing. And then we're gonna work with a scrapping, creating more folds over them with white, white over black. So For this, I'm using a manga genie that allows me to make very thin lines so I can work between the folds. You can see.
this also is a process that you can do it on digital. It's easier because you just cast shadows and then work over the shadow with lines and rinse and repeat. And you can zoom as much as you wish and correct and do like of doing a type of applying different color values and tones. In this place, I'm gonna work a lot with the scrapping tool for pushing the the white part onto the dark one. I don't mind here to do some hashing because when I color it, the color will go through the those little white lines that I'm creating when while hashing. Um, we'll add that extra effect. Then you can see if you had to make more dark one of the lines than the others. Doing the black part here, the shadow that cast the cloth over the other ones. Deep some sense of depth, deep depth. Yes, depth. Okay. Uh, now we let's write the thing a little bit. Deformed by the, the angle of the, wall of the camera. Okay. So, so we have a few, few seconds for it to. While we wait for this one to. Um, to dry, we can keep up doing some of the same process to the legs, working with the lines. And now when I have a major mask here, the mask will be also having a like a series of tension points. Places where more tension, you can just mark them like doing little hashes. I don't know.
the thing due to the perspective is kind of work from the edges. with the, it's like a little knife that I use for doing this type of effects. So I will be, let me zoom in. Yeah. Yeah. Camera is just <laughs> deforming the, the image it doesn't have these proportions. It's fun how these these things you see the way I move the <laughs> the angle of the paper the the image gets tweaked. Okay now I start working with this thing creating like a, some white folds between the black ones as you will see right now i'm connecting the avenues like imagine this is like a river and i'm now connecting on white over black those type of this is the effect you see that you have when when close folds are made, it's kind of like they just connect one to each other and you can do it as much as you want, do it too much, we will have too many, like will be look like like a type of cloth that is too loose. So I can do like this if I want to put here some the places where will be the, the muscles. Also if I make
can cut some of the lines that I made before. So kind of playing with it. You can go adding, subtracting. Uh, uh, folds to the cloth this way. Now you are not working on just on black over white, but white over black. So we give you another. If you were just working on a normal sheet of paper, you wouldn't be able to do this type of scratching. This is something that you could do it on digital very easily. Um, here, I like to work it this way. I like to work with uh, tracing paper is far more resistant. And India ink. So I can create this type of folds. I can regulate the, the size of the of the folds. And cut the line through if I wish. Now we're gonna move this part, for example, like doing the effect of the light going, going, light going around. Like, like light permeating through the, And then we can just go on. some some folds on the cloth uh, that's kind of, kind of the that's kind of the process of 
of doing it, you can try by yourself and practice. So it's not such a big mystery. It's like doing step by step the process, connecting the. But there is an extra that you only will get doing it by working with the white over black by scrapping or by putting white ink over the black ink. Uh, you get that that effect. Then you can some of the lines, if you wish, or not, you can erase them for imagination. Uh, or see what happens if I put some for example here this thing gonna be like in digital so I will be adding a layer of gray to show where the the, the body volume of the pegs are etc like if I wish this dude has some pegs here, so it will be more shadow caster over this place. For example, you can work on with your pencil. So to see it for yourself and play with it. I will not do it on, on ink this time because it will be just too much for the I put color. Um, but uh, yeah, that's how how it works. Well, I hope you have enjoyed it, and uh, I will keep doing this. Drawing, I'm not gonna be doing it live because it will be kind of boring <laughs> for you. Um, so, have a nice day. Bye bye.